everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, oh, where are you going? Okay. Um, I was going to say we are starting our new Let's Play, but she walked away on me. <laughs> Girly, where'd you go? You gotta, you can't just leave your food on the stove. Um. The last video I uploaded was their create -a sim. I think I'll actually go into cast right now. Oh, I meant to download a mod before getting started. It's okay. We don't need it. You know what? We don't need it. We don't need it. Um, I'm just going to go through and show you guys these sims. Um, this is... Queen of Reginale. <laughs> I deleted this cast background. Why is it back? It keeps coming back. I don't want it to come back. <laughs> I can't win. I can't win. Anyways, um, these are our sims. This is Sophia Rose. She's gorgeous. I do believe she's like the prettiest sim I think I've ever made. If you can hear my dogs barking in the background, I am so sorry. I have six of them. I feel like I say that in every video, but I do. Um, then we have Christian. Wow, these are our sims. Um, we're starting a new Let's Play. Um, like I said in the greatest sim video, which I will link below, it is going to be loosely... Oh, there was another thing I wanted to do before getting started, but I totally forgot about it. <sighs> you know what? Episode 2. We'll have it. Episode 2 will have it. <laughs> this is our Sims, Christian and Sophia Rose. Um, Christian wants a big happy family. He's family oriented. He's jealous. And he's a perfectionist. His likes are small talk, electronica music, blue, video gaming, fishing, red, and idealist sims. Um, and then this is um, Sophia. She likes gray, affection, mixology, pink, dancing, fitness, hardworking sims, singing, writing, hip-hop music, and romance music. Um, I don't give my sims dislikes because it gets annoying when they dislike something. But yeah, the, uh, she wants to be a best-selling author. She's romantic. She's non-committal. She's a perfectionist. And then she has the insider bonus trait. Um, self-discovery trait. Um, these are their little everyday outfits. Me realizing you didn't see the second one. There's that. Um, her formal outfit. Pretty simple. Oh, God, I moved too fast for the game. <laughs> Athletic, sleepwear, party wear, swimwear, hot weather wear, cold weather wear. You can see, which mine reminds me, I got a new jacket, so I kind of want to put her in that. <laughs> Yeah, that's so many, that's, that's her. Um, here is Christian. If it'll load. <laughs> um, Christian's in the politician career. Um, Sophia is in the freelance writer career. Um, she kind of takes a gig here and there. It's not, she's kind of like me. Is money nice? Yes. But do I want to work? No. <laughs> You know what I mean? Where he wants to be a politician, he wants to strive to make the place of the world a better place. Like he, his career is his ambition. Um, her career, you know, she wants to be a writer, but she doesn't want to write for other people. But she has to write for other people and make money because capitalism. Capitalism, don't we just love it, guys? Oh, isn't it just great? <laughs> um. Yeah, so, I did play a first, I actually have already tried recording this episode, but there's stuff wrong with my mic. So we're starting on a Monday. So it looks like Chris just came home. <gasps> oh! Already, Chris? It's Monday! Ah, oh, oh, oh. There's a couple more relationships I want to add, and then forgot to add them before starting recording. So next episode they'll be here, we'll update this next episode. This is her father. Um... Rico. He hates children. He's romantic and he's a slob. She doesn't know him because he doesn't want to know her. So there's a dislike there. Like she just dislikes her dad because he decided not to be in her life. Uh, this is Emma, her mom. 
Uh, they have the supportive family dynamic. When sims have a supportive family dynamic, the older sim often provides the younger sim with emotional support and reassurance while serving a good role model for the younger sim. When socializing, both sims will actively seek to provide affection and compliments to, uh, to each other. The older sim will actively seek to console or cheer up younger sims, and the younger sims feel comfortable venting their complaints or asking for help a bit more. This is their relationship to a T. Then we have her friends. Clover and Makara. This is Clover. We don't know much about him because I didn't. I didn't do this part yet. But in my mind, they went to. These guys all went to college together. Um, they're part of the party pals. What was they saying? Oh, to me that they all went to college together and um, were in the same program or something similar. Or we just were in a similar group where they all know each other. Uh, but right now we know Makara is a perfectionist and hot-headed. Let me look at the family tree because her dad is married to Kingsley. Um, Kinsley. Why did I say Kingsley? Uh, Kinsley. Uh, we don't know anything about, we don't, um, God names. Sophia doesn't know anything about her dad's wife. Like, nothing at all. Then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna look at his relationships. So, we'll start off with his family. Donna is his mother. Um, she's lazy, childish, materialistic. They don't have, they haven't interacted in-game white yet so they don't have a dynamic because I like it when they automatically come um, this is his dad he has bad compatibility with his dad interesting um, this is dad nothing too special about Luca <laughs> and this is his little brother uh, Nick how do you not know any traits of your brother you know what the Sims is interesting but then he has his friend Jared <sighs> see up and coming politicians I make friend groups for people <laughs> We again know nothing about Jared apparently, and then this is his other friend, Carrie. Um, again, know nothing about them apparently, and I will show you their little clubs. So let's go here. So this is the up and coming politicians. We got Christian, Jared, and Carrie. Uh, a few people looking to make a change in the world, even at the very bottom of the career ladder. And their thing is give speeches and be friendly with everybody. A group of college pals that love to party. <laughs> they like dancing, singing, and drinking bar drinks. Um, so he's just doing his career thing, but I think they're gonna have a quick conversation, like, in the unaired episode, she ran into his parents on accident, like, she went out to a coffee shop with her mom and ran into Donna and Luca, and I think she's gonna talk to him about that, like, hey, I ran into your parents today when I was out with my mom, uh, I just want you to know that. It was like, they recognized me, I recognized them, that we said hi in passing, briefly introduced her ourselves to one another and that was kind of the extent of it and he's like thinking to himself okay then well that means we kind of you kind of have to meet them on a more professional not professional but more formal sense like actually talk to them have a dinner with them and my brother and he's kind of not looking forward to it <laughs> He's been holding off. They've been dating in my mind for a couple years. They just moved in, but they haven't formally met each other's parents. And it's more so Chris, because Chris is, let's, at an event, let's do a dinner tomorrow with them. Chris is a little, what's the right word for this? Like he's, he's not ashamed, but he's worried that they'll be ashamed. Like, he's worried that something will happen, or she'll say something, and it will make them hate her, or what have you. Let me pick out where we're going to actually do this. Or maybe we'll do it in kind of like the morning. We live in... They'd go to their house and have like a breakfast with them, so we'll schedule it for 10. No, for gameplay reasons... In real life, they would do it this at 10, but for gameplay reasons, they're doing it at at 9. Because <laughs> I'm not waiting that long for that. So, they're going to do a more formal meeting tomorrow. He's not ashamed of who he's with. It's just, there's a lot of expectations on his end that he doesn't want to let his parents down. Um, he cares a lot about what his parents think. And I think to an extent, Sophia kind of knows that, and that's why they haven't... Ooh, look at the suave little kiss. Um, that's why they haven't... That's why he hasn't introduced her to his parents yet. 
So they're just talking about that, and he's like, okay, well, I guess we can go over there and meet them for breakfast tomorrow. We already have it set up. Yeah, so I think I'm going to play through the evening, get them settled in. I don't think anything crazy is going to happen, but I will pick up if anything does. If not, I'll see you guys in the morning at when they're getting ready for the meeting of the parents. Okay, so we are back. Christian has just woken up, but it looks like we have an ominous sparking from the utility box. Wonderful. So we're going to complain to the land. Oh, and leaky pipes. <laughs> Love that for us. Um, so Christian is doing that. He took a shower last night, so he shouldn't have to take one this morning. But he's going to get it, brush his teeth. He's going to get dressed. What should we wear today? Maybe I'll give them special outfits for this. I feel like messing around in gas. <laughs> Little Miss Sophia didn't go to bed until kind of late last night, so I'm just going to let her sleep in. And while we do that, we're going to plan our outfit for the day. Again, I don't know how this outfit, or this cast background got into my game. I deleted it. Why is it back? Why are you back here? Um, this feels a little too formal, but we don't want, but it's kind of in the right vein. Like, maybe just a regular button-up. It's kind of the vibe. He likes blue. We can put him in blue. There we go. That's good. That's like a nice kind of more casual outfit. Then let's do something similar for Sophia. Let's see here. I think definitely like a pant. Ooh, I got this new top. I just want to see what it looks like on her. She wouldn't wear that to meet his parents, but she would definitely wear that in any other setting. Maybe we do a white top and something hot pink on the bottom. She wears pink in, like, every outfit. Uh, let's see here. That? No. Oh, we could do these pink rose pants. I think this is what we're gonna go with. I'm overthinking it. <laughs> like, I do everything. Okay. That is what she'll wear. And then, I feel like oh, we need a coffee maker. We do. I feel like he's a coffee drinker. Or maybe there is a stand downstairs? Well, where am I? Maybe... no. Ooh, but you can grab this poster. Let's grab that poster real quick. So we're gonna have to come in here and change our outfit to this. So much pink! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at how much pink she has! Wow, seeing it all together like this. I know that like her main colors are pink and white, and she... But seeing it all together like this, it's very Barbie. <laughs> I love that. Oh, and it's raining! Um... That's fine. That's totally cool. So this is where his parents live. I did build this, by the way, if you were ever wondering. It's on my gallery. I'm really kind of proud of this house. I love this house. It's so cute. Lots of pink because I built it for my sim self. <laughs> so why don't we have Chris knock on the door? Let's come on in. Let's say hi to the brother. You know, be like, hey, what's up? Maybe give him affection a hug real quick hug love or just yeah just a regular hug and she's gonna come in she just have to use the bathroom so we'll have her go use the bathroom first and foremost we're gonna put down the walls to this so I can see what I'm doing and then he's gonna go quickly upstairs stop talking to your brother give your mom a hug and a kiss maybe just family kiss there we go and then for his dad he would he just give him a regular hug. Then Sophia's gonna come over here, introduce herself to the younger brother. She has something, she, what does she want to do with her dad? Become enemies with her dad. She's probably asking him like, you know, what do you want to do? Discuss future family plans, that kind of a thing. Getting just to, to know him a little bit more. Maybe while we're up here, he's kind of gonna ask other Sims, ask about Sophia. Like, I know you guys ran into each other the other day. What do you think about her? Let's see. Discuss family lineage. Like, kind of get to know their backstory a little bit. I think that's pretty cool. Sophia is one cool sim. I like her. That's awesome. Other sims. Ask about... Yeah, let's ask about his... Like, what do you think about your brother? Question. What do you think about your brother? Maybe... Let's see. He can... Other sims. Talk up another sim. Sophia. Give him a, 
have a deep conversation with him, you know, just trying to get to know the brother. I feel like she's a little nervous to talk to the parents, and the brother's like a good middle ground. <laughs> Well, oh, I thought, okay, well, Christian, I wasn't aware he felt so strongly about Sophia Rose. She seems like company. I'll chat with her soon. Oh, <gasps> he's coming down to introduce himself. Okay, okay, everybody stay calm, stay calm. He's coming down to say something. Let's see. I was extremely hopeful heading into the conversation, but after spending a brief amount of time with Sophia Rose, it became obvious, obviously clear to me that she we, we weren't meant to be friends. Sophia! 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 No! No, Sophia! Why would you do that? Why would you brush him off? Oh. Okay. Let's ask mom the same thing. Hopefully that goes better. Let's see. Other Sims. Talk up another Sim. Talk up Sophia. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Sophia. Why would you do that? Oh, and then you... This is going awfully. <gasps> Sophia. Oh, I spoke with Sophia and I find her kind a uh, great quite pleasing. Great with kids. Looks like Sophia Rose just befriended a family motivated sim. Family motivated sims tend to put family first and often enjoy spending time with children. In the terms of sim preferences, would you say that Sophia likes family motivated sims? Yes. Oh, her and Donna are friends. That's actually really cute. Oh. So maybe there's a different reason as to why her and Luca didn't get on. Maybe... She's not getting along with the brother. Maybe just walk away. Just walk away. Just walk away. Go just talk to Donna. Or maybe... Maybe don't even do that. Maybe just go stand outside and contemplate life for a moment. Maybe just sit out here and take a breather. Maybe Chris is gonna, like... Oh, yeah, no, Chris, talk to your mom. Talk to your mom. Talk to your mom. Talk to your mom. Kind of ask her, you know, what do you think about today? Like, how's it going so far? And she's like, well, I don't think your father really likes her. Oh, yes. Yes. Maybe that's the reason she stepped outside as her mom called. And he's like, well, what do you mean? And she's kind of saying, I guess she, she kind of rubbed him the wrong way. I'm not sure. But I think she's great. And he's like, well, why do you think dad wouldn't like her? And she's saying, maybe it's because, I don't know, in the brief conversations that we had with her and what we know of her and what you've told us about her, is, are you sure she's what you're looking for? And he's like, of course, you know. I love her. She's my girlfriend. You know. He's talking about, like, everything they have in common. And then as he's talking to his mom, he's kind of realizing that, like, he... Oh. While he was talking with his mom, he was kind of putting the pieces together of what kind of they were seeing that, like... She seems to have... She's not in the same place in her life that he is. She's, I would say, five years younger than him. I'd say he's 30 and she's 25. Um, and so kids are definitely on his mind. Getting married's on his mind. It's not on her mind too much. Like, she's still young. She's trying to experience life. Ooh. Christian has not been being, feeling very romantic lately and is starting to feel kind of unflirty. Okay. Does this change? No, it doesn't. Okay. I was going to say, does that change? Because she's romantic. And if he's now unflirty... Oh, no! No, 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 no! Okay. You know what? It's cool. It's chill. It's whatever. <laughs> uh, maybe he's best friends with his mom. I can see that. I can see him definitely being more of, like, a mama's boy. <laughs> um... She probably is going to call her mom again. Oh. Let's do a chatty family call and be like, this is going so awfully. His dad doesn't like me. His brother doesn't like me. His mom likes me. And really, honestly, mother-in-laws are kind of have the reputation of being the hardest to win over. So she's kind of glad that she, the, uh, Donna really likes her. But she's like, the, you know, nobody seems to like me except his mom. And she's just freaking out a little and her mom's like look it's okay it was your first interaction with them you know 
you have plenty of time to get to know them over the course of you guys' relationship. Don't over stress it. Don't overthink it. It'll be okay. You'll be okay. Everything will be fine. She's like, but you being on the phone with me isn't going to help. So she gets off the phone. They're going to go downstairs. I wish we could do an activity with them. Oh, but it's mo- maybe she can join cooking. Wait, wait, wait. Join the cooking. She can't join the cooking. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Uh, gosh. I feel so bad for Sophie. Oh, now you can join the cooking. Okay. Is he joining the cooking? Yeah. Okay, maybe, yeah, they're going to cook together. That's a cute little activity for them to do. They're kind of chatting, talking about food. and uh, Sophie is going to bring up the fact that, like, growing up, her mom really stressed the importance of food and taught her how to cook. And it was something they really bonded over, and that's why she loves cooking so much. And, you know, of course she only made a serving for herself. But now she has a sentiment with Donna. That's so sweet. Cooking together. Uh, Sims that cook together stay together. Without food, we could not exist. It is the food that cr- that created us. Food connects us. Food that binds us. I feel like that is 100% Sophia's outlook on food. And I feel like Donna, to some extent, ex- shares that kind of outlook on food. So, I think maybe that's why they're getting along. I don't know. <sighs> I feel like these two, Donna and Sophia, are pretty similar. Like, they have similar personalities. And I think because of that, Donna's kind of realizing that, like, she's not what he wants. Like, yeah, he, I, he loves her, but it's not the person that he... I, I think she's getting the sense that he's trying to make her this person she's not. And that's going to be the difficult part that they're going to have to work through. But... It is about 2 o'clock in the afternoon in The Sims time. We've been here since 9 a.m. We're just going to end this early and we're going to go home. <laughs> we're going to head out. It was nice to meet everybody. She, they would kind of do an Irish goodbye. But like They kind of don't say goodbye to everybody. They say goodbye to his mom. Maybe he will say like wave to him in the living room on the way out. But definitely more of an Irish goodbye. <laughs> oh... Gosh, that did not go the way. I thought they would really like her. I thought I thought it was going to be the other way around, where the dad and the brother really liked her, and the mom didn't. But it's the complete opposite. Interesting. I'll have to figure out how this plays into the larger part of the story. Oh, you're hungry. I'm going to cheat up that need so you don't starve to death. I won't cheat it up a lot. I cheated it up a lot. <laughs> didn't mean to cheat it up that much. I meant to get it in the yellow, like, like um, Chris's. All right. We're heading home. I'll see you guys when we're back at the apartment. Alright, we're back at the apartment now. And... Chris is hungry. You should probably eat too. Everybody's hungry. Um... That was sure a meeting of the parents. That was kind of an eventful first episode. But I am going to leave this off here. I'm sorry that the energy was so low in today's video compared to the cast video. I am There's people at my house today. When I recorded the cast video's voiceover, I was home alone. So maybe that'll just... I'll have to just record these when I'm home alone. Because I get a little embarrassed. A little shy. So, that was it for today's episode. I'm going to leave this off here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know kind of what you guys want to see for the next one. Um, I am going to add in that th- the people that I forgot to add in that I meant to add in but didn't uh, for the next episode. In that, we can flesh out a little bit more. But yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all of the fun little things you have to do. Um, I, I heard, apparently when you say subscribe, the subscribe button lights up. That's a new feature. Isn't that pretty cool? So I'm going to say subscribe one more time. So you subscribe. And the little button lights up. At least it lights up on desktop. I'm not sure about it if it lights up on phone. Anyways. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you're having a great afternoon, evening, or wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.